Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency Mama Ruto, Cabinet Ministers from the Republic of Uganda, all invited guests, all protocol observed, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, you're all highly welcome on behalf of our pastors Robert and Jessica Kayanja to the Miracle Center Cathedral, to the wedding of our very own Pastor Robert Tonia and his beautiful bride Mara. Come on, clap your hands to Jesus. Let us pray as we begin our wedding service this afternoon. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful for this beautiful day that you have made for Pastor Robert Jr. and Mark. We pray that you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, take over. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And all God's people shout a bigger amen. Come on, clap your hands to Jesus better than you're doing. It's a day of joy, a day of celebration. In Jesus' mighty name. We shall all remain standing as the bridal procession begins shortly. We will have the groom enter again with his mother. Later we will have... You may be seated with me.
sword. Find the sword! Deliver the sword.
senior government officials, distinguished guests, all of you, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We gather here as friends and family with great joy to witness the holy matrimony of our dearly beloved children. As parents, this is always a great honor bestowed upon us, first by God and then by our children, who have chosen to express their love for each other in the way of God's word. So, before this congregation of businesses, of this beautiful occasion, I want to thank you, Robert and Marina, for being faithful to God and for blessing us all today. For several decades, as mothers and a government official, I have traveled the country speaking to the young people and cautioning them to preserve their bodies as a temple of the Holy Spirit by living in the purity, in honor of God, themselves and their families. I have been so blessed to hear testimony after testimony of children in our country who made the decision at a young age and fall through on the true love waits for commitment until they are waiting day. This truly warms my heart and gives me the hope that despite the evils we see around us, our efforts as the body of Christ to nurture young people into the right direction in vain. Nonetheless, the institution of marriage is under attack now more than ever before. Young people are separating at unprecedented rates, even as others want man into marriage. Therefore, I would like to speak to the young generation in the church today and encourage them by saying that in Christ, we have the power to change this narrative. The Bible tells us in Revelation 12, verses 11, triumphs over him, that is the devil, by the blood of the Lamb and, the, and by the word of our testimony. Hence, I implore our newly wedded couple as children who have been nurtured into the kingdom culture by your parents and witnessed their exemplary marriage, please defeat the devil by the testimony of a marriage modeled on the biblical way of love. Today the world is desperate for role models of successful marriages. Therefore, be the example you look up to in your generation this can only be achieved if husbands shun the way of the world and choose to model the love of God in their marriages. And if wives intentionally choose to shun the way of the world by modeling submission and respect. So on this special day, I encourage you in the words of Paul, the physician, 5, 1 to 2, 21 to 22, and 25. Imitate God in everything you do, because you are his children. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ, who loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. And further submit to one another out of readiness for Christ. For wives, this means submit 
to your husbands as to the Lord. For husbands, this means love your wives just as Christ loved the church. Please remember that only biblically modeled marriages can foster God's spousal relationship marriages that swing against the tide of the societal standards and weather life's storm. Now turning to the couple's parents. Thank you for overcoming the barriers of distance, people, groups, and culture by interesting us with your daughter's hand in marriage. Marina is not only a gorgeous young bride, but as I have come to learn from those who know her very well, she adorns unfailing beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is of great worth in God's sight. I would therefore like to reassure you both that I'm confident that she has formed a new family in Pastor Robert and Jessica Kayanjia's home who will love and cherish her unconditionally. I now give special recognition to Pastor Robert and Pastor Jessica Kayanja for the exceptional work that you have done in the nation through your discipleship programs, church ministries, and the broadcast of God's Word via the channel 44 TV station. You have been a tremendous blessing through the enormous work that you and the Miracle Center churches have done across the nation and globally. I praise the Lord for the sincerity and truth with which you have demonstrated his words as leaders. You have lived exemplary lives, allowing God to use you mightily and for that we as the body of Christ in Uganda are eternally grateful. Once again to this beautiful couple, congratulations on your wedding day. May the Lord, may the love you have for each other grow and blossom as you receive many happy returns on this day from the Lord Jesus Christ in the future. May God richly bless you for God and my country.